It's known as the Peach State, Georgia, home to big entertainment and agricultural industries, a majority minority population, and as part of the Bible Belt, it's one of the most religious states in the U.S. It's also one of seven swing states that will likely decide the presidential election. In 2020, President Joe Biden pulled out a surprising victory in Georgia, breaking its nearly three-decade-long cycle of voting for Republican presidential nominees. But in the 2024 rematch between Biden and former President Donald Trump, polls showed Trump was likely to win Georgia back. But then... Good evening, Georgia! When Kamala Harris got into the race, immediately Georgia became a toss-up again. Reporter Tia Mitchell of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution unpacks this southern election battleground. Roughly 50 percent of all voters in Georgia live in metro Atlanta versus the rest of the state. And so Atlanta is very blue and then most other parts of the state get pretty red. But a lot of people are moving to Georgia, which explains in part why Democrats were able to win in 2020, albeit by a slim margin of 0.3 percentage points. A lot of young people are moving to Georgia. A lot of people of color are moving to Georgia. Georgia has the highest population and proportion of Black Americans of the seven swing states. The Black vote is really important, um, particularly for Kamala Harris. And we know that um, Donald Trump has gone after Black and Brown voters in states like Georgia, particularly Black and Brown men, Black and Latino men, with his messaging. The polling shows that Black men are coming in for Kamala Harris around 70 percent. That's less than Biden ultimately got in 2020 and less than Hillary Clinton got in 2016. If a Democrat can't get Black men in the upper, you know, 80s, upper 80s, it will be difficult to win. Like voters nationally, Georgians say inflation and the cost of living are their top concerns. But another big issue that comes up a lot is immigration. Georgia is not a border state, but certain parts of Georgia have seen a lot of immigrants come and settle there. But also because Georgia is heavy on the agriculture industry, I think people are more keenly aware of immigration and immigration issues in a state like Georgia. Another issue that could be a rallying cry, particularly for women, is abortion. After the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Georgia was one of four states to ban abortion beyond six weeks of pregnancy. That's before many women even know they're pregnant. There was recently a ProPublica investigation that found that two women had complications after uh, doing medicated abortions and either didn't get the care they needed from the hospital or avoided going to the hospital because they were concerned about the quality of care and both of them died, and the state determined those deaths were preventable. And that's become a big issue on the campaign trail, particularly raised by Kamala Harris, saying it's one of the byproducts of the state having a very restrictive abortion ban. Mitchell says Georgia voters are also concerned about crime and public safety, including guns. About six weeks ago, there was a school shooting in Georgia that was the deadliest school shooting in the state's history. And so that has Um, really shaped the conversation around gun control and public safety. Donald Trump was going to speak to at an NRA event in Savannah. He canceled the event. And I think it even indicates um, that Donald Trump himself and his advisors didn't necessarily think a pro-gun message was a good closing argument in a state like Georgia. Georgia has been a poster child for kind of this effort to preserve democracy, this effort to label Donald Trump as a threat to democracy. Georgia is the site of an ongoing election interference case against Trump and his allies. After he lost the 2020 election, Trump pressured Georgia's Secretary of State in a phone call to find him 11,780 votes, roughly the same number by which Biden won the state. Last year, a grand jury indicted Trump and 18 others on charges that they tried to overturn Georgia's 2020 election results. A trial date is pending. I think it plays both ways. There are Democrats who believe, you know, we've got to preserve democracy and not let Donald Trump get back to the White House. There are a lot of Republicans who believe that 
the legal system has been weaponized against former President Trump in that um, he should be rewarded by being allowed to go back to the White House. And once he does that, they expect him to do away with a lot of these pending cases. A recent poll by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution found Trump ahead in Georgia with 47 percent support and Harris with 43 percent.